I'm in Windows 11 and I've got my checkpoint all set up on my virtual machine. So now it's time to delete it. So let's take a look and see what that checkpoint looks like. First off, we need to find the location of the checkpoint. So I'm going to go to where it says settings. And then I'm going to go to where it says SCSI controller and then hard drive. So this tells me where this particular file is. I'm just going to copy the whole thing. And here's where all my virtual machines are. Now take a look at the files here. We see Windows Server 2019 VHDX. We also see this AVHDX. And what that is, is that's the checkpoint file. So you can see that the checkpoint file is much smaller than the actual virtual machine. So it created two files, one for the actual server and one for any changes that happen in that server. So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and delete that checkpoint. And I'll click Delete Checkpoint and click Delete. And now what's going to happen is, is that AVHDX file is going to disappear. And as you see, it has already done so. So those, those two files have now merged into one file, which is great. So that is how we delete a checkpoint in a Windows 11 Hyper-V.